Good morning. It's 6.08 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursday, January 17, 2019. Let's see what's going on. Okay, our 12-hour cycles of tit-for-tat seem to be assuaging. Well, let's take a look for the 2,500. I was up a little earlier. You see the 2,500 is at 3039. This was originally at $29. They moved it up, and the price acted accordingly and started seeing green bars forming. Let's see where the other manipulation wall is on the sell side. It's embedded at 3108. Okay, for you, for those not in the know, what they've been doing to manipulate the price for the past year, with full knowledge. Granted to Coinbase on what's going on. I have reported it to them. They've been putting up in the exposed order book a large sell and a large buy wall to kettle the price in between them. Uh, the price, the market size now for the walls is 2500 each. So you see 2802 over here and 40 cents. It's embedded in there. I've seen it before earlier this morning when I woke up. So I like to calm down before I start my report. Now, what's been happening, I want, you could sit here and watch as they raise this closer to the epicenter, you'll see the price go up. As this is driven down closer to the epicenter, the sell wall, you'll see the price go down. That's them exerting pressure to keep the price in the range that they want. Okay, that's manipulation using those two sell walls. Now, why do they put them up as the same market size? These are for the newbies. I say this every day because you might be new to my channel and you need to know what's going on. They'll post these two walls up here to keep you trading in their price range, the price fixing. Right? Now, what else they do is they force everybody to trade within their price range, or they are trading in the price range they set to drive the price to their desired level. They want the price to go up, they'll stack the deck in here with buys, or they'll push this toward the epicenter. They'll do the same this way if they want the price to go down. Very simplistic form of manipulation. Not hard to detect, not hard to understand. <laughs> Now, a lot of people say, well, what do they do when the price goes up, approaches their wall? The walls, when the price starts to go up and approaching this wall, they'll remove them. They'll let the bull run, run out, and then they'll repost it, post them back up, and begin the manipulation of bringing the price back down. I've seen it. I've done it. I understand these animals. I have 25 years in investment of all types. I know what I'm talking about, and they know what I'm talking about, too, because the CFTC has reviewed this information, and they have confirmed what I say to be fact. And the reason why I'm making these videos is for the new subscriber, and all these agencies have my link, and they're keeping track of what's going on. Now, I'd like to talk to you about uh, another thing that I've noticed in Litecoin specifically, uh, Ryan Armstrong and Charlie Lee pumped this coin up or knew a pump was coming. They told everybody that this coin and their fanboys was going up to $1,000 after they announced that Litecoin was going on to Coinbase. That's the first step of a, uh, an exit scam. Now it gets on the exchange, it goes up to actually $370, and lo and behold, Charlie Lee announces, I'm getting rid of all my coin because it's a conflict of interest. Sells all his coin. People actually believed him. Like if this was any other coin that just opened up on an exchange and was dumped, it's called the ever common exit scam in crypto. These guys committed a crime. Now the coin is down to 10% from his, less than 10% from his high price. 
and yet people don't believe that there was some kind of scam or price enacted. This is the same thing that happened to BitConnect. The price crashed on the exit scam. And it needs to be investigated. They need to be prosecuted. And they need to be locked up. There goes that 2500 flat. There it goes. I told you it would show itself. 3094. You see what I'm saying? How they're manipulating the market using two same size opposing walls. And the reason they do that is because what happens when you add a negative and positive on the volume? They wash it out. It, 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 it's an, a way to hide your volume manipulation. So now you can see this perfectly clear. It's out in the open. It's, uh, you cannot help notice this. If they were to change the cell walls to 1,766 spot 19, you can believe you'll see a cell wall on both sides with the same 1,766 spot 19. Pardon. <laughs> this is a scam. See, now it, it moved. You see? It moved down in price. It was at 30.29. The walls moved down. The market reacts to the pressure that was induced by the movement of this, the largest, the largest sell and buy wall in the exposed water bottle. The largest. When you start to see so walls placed that are larger than this one within these ranges they're, they're, they're getting ready to do some serious manipulation up or down right now look looking at this they got a lot of coin here now look above look above this uh order book you see one trade that's really large that's a fake trade. That's like, look at this trade. What he says isn't true. They're not manipulating. Look at this large order that's outside the box, the, tr the trading box. Man, you know. I can understand if people lose faith in something and it and it just and it just goes down. But this isn't it. This is the largest what they've done, the prices that th these coins were at and manipulated them down. It's a scam. It's a scam. Somebody engaged in one of the largest scams I ever seen before. Though the value of cryptocurrency it is worth what people think it is. These guys seem to think else otherwise. So they stepped in and they just started destroying the market value. I mean, this is obsessive. This is done every day. This is somebody with psychopathic tendencies. Criminal psychopathic tendencies. Where they're actually harming other people. I can't count this guy. Just in Litecoins alone, the manipulation has cost people tens of millions, probably a hundred million dollars since January of, of the beginning of uh, of the collapse last year. And Coinbase is well aware that this is going on. I have called them every day and I'm going to call them again today and this time I'm going to record the conversation and it will be put up later in the day on YouTube yesterday I did uh, call them no actually I called them Tuesday but I didn't record it I asked them since I've been reporting this and I have open cases are there any notes on my cases that any action has been taken has the legal department responded to any of my letters 
for uh, asking for arbitration due to this illegal manipulation, breaking the user agreement. I have gotten zero responses. Which this what this isn't this organization. This is a boiler room. This is a criminal enterprise. This needs to be dealt with. We're paying a lot of tax money to these agencies. We're giving them the information. And what are they doing? And then they wonder why people get frustrated and, and uh, lash out. They go to you, you don't do nothing. And then later, you'll condemn somebody for lashing out because they have no other choice. Or doing something ridiculous. I'm not one of those people, I'm not making a threat. I'm pointing out there are people out there like that. And this is why you see Charlie Lee again walking around with the bodyguard. And now if I was that, his, the bodyguard, his name is John Kim. Uh, he's all over the, the internet supporting Litecoin. My friend, Mr. Kim, you better reevaluate your relationship with Mr. Lee. Stop kowtowing to him. He's a criminal. Do you want do you want to associate yourself with the criminal? Most honorable people will uh, rather be poor than be a criminal and work every day. Because they have uh, self esteem, dignity. What I what I'm pretty sure, 99.9% .9 sure, I could be wrong, but let him prove us wrong. He hasn't. And you know why? Because he's guilty. People have been watching my videos. They're going to be presented of evidence. I like to see him disputed. Okay, they lowered this wall a little. Now you can see the green bar is dissipating. They lowered the price of the controlled pressure. You see how they control in the market with these two walls? Most of you, most of you who can see this, what I'm trying to explain it to you, of, of these Kellen walls that they're putting up, you would be 200% more advanced than Coinbase because they apparently None of them could see it. <laughs> right now I'm doing quotes. They can't see it. Is that what your boss is saying? What's denial the best def uh, 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 defense right now? Denying it will make it go all the way. Is that the attitude of Coinbase? Denying what we're seeing and recording is going to go make it go away? No, it's not going to be over. Uh, go away. It's too late now. So as you can see, they hit us down around 30. They're testing the waters. They're manipulating the price down to 30. They're going to try to make it go sideways from there and bring it down some more. Now this price is not being controlled by the interaction of uh, everybody part that's participating in it. This market is being brought down by a select few. We're using a very simple method. They're here every day. It's been noted. It's been called in. I'm sorry. If Coinbase can't acknowledge or do anything about this, they are no longer a valid exchange. They're nothing but a criminal enterprise. And their owners and, and certain employees, as the evidence points out, who's doing what, need to be locked up. They need a nice 10-year uh, prison sentence 
to set the tone of what we will tolerate and what we will not tolerate. And theft to market manipulation is intolerable. You got people lose, losing losing their bankroll, and the, and the crooks are bragging, driving around in brand new cars, sending their kids to the best schools, taking trips all over the place, going to all these Litecoin summits and this and that, enjoying themselves, getting prostitutes sent up to their room, you know, getting drunk, getting high. Hiring bodyguards <laughs> because they know they know it's coming. They know it's coming. They know that they hear that dog barking in in the distance. These people nothing but low grade mark hopelesses. Oh, the market went down. Oh, oh you don't know why. Yeah, it just happened by pure coincidence. The market went down for a whole year. We don't know why. How where did all that money come in to pump up the coin in December? Oh, we don't have no idea with know your customer. Oh my, yeah, we didn't know they were going to pump it up. No, no, but we dumped all our coin at the highest price possible. But we didn't know what was going on. We sold all the coin for, for, uh, for a conflict of interest at the highest price possible that the coin's ever been. Oh, it's not an exit scam. It was because we did it for conflict of interest. By the way, my, my surname is the same as Mother Teresa's. Ridiculous.